Question three on this year's ballot in Massachusetts deals with the medical use of marijuana. A yes vote creates an alternative relief method and a strict regulated distribution system designed to ease the suffering of thousands of people with debilitating conditions. Its supporters of this issue want people to see clearly the health advantages of this smoke. Here to talk about why you should vote yes on question three is Mike Can, supporter of Vote Yes on Question Three, activists on marijuana issues, and the host of the internet radio program Two Hot Heads, where activism happens. Mike, good morning to you. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. On uh, in your bio, you talk about uh, that you've had firsthand experience with medical marijuana. Yeah. Yes, I have. Can you tell us your story? Uh, yeah, I'm a you know, former high school, college, USA wrestler, uh, athlete, and played three sports in high school and all through youth. And somewhere along the line, I also coached, grew up in this area, and uh, I have a bad back injury from wrestling uh, for the last 15 years. Had uh, daily severe pain at times. Sometimes, mostly though, it's uh, bad in the morning and bad at night. And, and uh, something that I'm able to manage and work um, I had a choice between taking over-the-counter Tylenol, codeine, Oxycontin, other pills. You were under a doctor's care? Yes, okay. for this pain. I, I've been a chiropractor, physical therapist, acupuncture, um, and eventually I went to medical marijuana. In this state? Yes. Medical marijuana? Yes. How? Um, the black market. You know, it's, uh, we, we can use it with a vaporizer, there's edibles. Uh, people often actually give them to me for free because they know my condition. They know the situation, um, and and that's how I, you know, you yeah, I, I use that to reduce the the inflammation, especially when it gets really inflamed, um, and at night to sleep so I can work the next day. Doctors know about this. Uh, my my last doctor knew about it. I worked. I, I, I that's the thing about the cannabis too. It's like. I know my situation, if it gets worse, I can go back and get a surgery. I don't want to get surgery, I'm, I'm, I'm a younger person. Um, the doctor even agreed that I probably wouldn't need surgery if I could manage it, and I've managed it for 15 years, um, and I use cannabis and it helps me. I'll, and how long have you, I'm sorry, how long have you used cannabis? Um, I, you know, I, I think like most people, I, I tried it as a youth before I injured my back in my 20s. Um, so, you know, I've used it longer than that, but for the last 15 years, I've used it for this, this back condition. And pretty much as medical marijuana? Uh, it, as pain relief and, and to be able to sleep at night and work the next day. You know, a lot of times what I have is a throbbing at the end of the day. Uh, I, you know, it's like a, it's a nerve, it shoots down the leg, and w one you know, puff from a vaporizer and the pain is gone and I can go to sleep at night. And it's not a pill that makes me nauseous, not a pill that makes me feel sick. You alone in this? I mean, I'm not saying that you do it with others, but do you know other people who I who know do hundreds this? of other people. I've been working for this, this cause for at least 10 years now. And yeah, I mean, I know people who have died over this issue. Kenneth Roberts in Massachusetts recently just passed away in his 40s. Um, he had a disease that I can't even pronounce, but the nickname for it was the suicide disease because it was so much pain that people would kill themselves. And he died. And, and I remember I never met him. I, saw, I finally saw his picture when he died. And it was, you know, we were on an email list talking about this issue. And he was so upset that he couldn't get the strain that he wanted for his pain, which was this indica that really helped with his disease. And and when he did get the medicine, it wasn't the right type, it was a sativa. And, and he needed 